Hi, I'm Justin, G0KSC from the G0KSC website and also in Event Inners. If you're not familiar with me or my work, you'll also uh, see some of my articles in the Dubus magazine, uh, the URL of which will be appearing on your screen now, and also current and previous versions of the AWRL antenna book. Uh, I would recommend referencing one of the previous um, videos from a few days ago build your own Yagi in five minutes with easy NEC as we're going to be building um, or, or using the model that we produced in that through um, into today's session when we're going to be stacking this uh, this Yagi and this is a five element Yagi um, there are um, a number of designs which I've put onto a file a, a zip file on the G0KSC uh, website which was um, explained in that uh, video as well and the link given um, it's www.g0ksc.co.uk forward slash YouTube in capital letters forward slash 4.zip or 4.zip uh, as I say that's appearing on the screen now as well and it was in the previous video so please take a look at that and you can use one of those four elements or the five element that we built in that um, that video to uh, see what we're going to be doing today. So I'm just going to open up uh, now and see um, this link that we need to search for in Google to find a DL6WU calculator. There are various versions of the DL6WU calculator around. Uh, some of the software versions are in a DOS format, so perhaps not best for most computers today, especially if you're using Windows 10. It's not going to be something that's going to work well. Uh, if at all. So uh, the, the the easiest is to search for Hartmutz. Um, he's done a great job of translating this onto the website. Uh, I've opened up one of the tabs here and I've got the display uh, that will be um, seen when you get to that site. Now if I uh, open up the the five element that we opened, as I said you can use any easy NEC Yagi. Uh, we're just using one of the ones that, uh, that we've uh, produced. Um, I've sanitized some of the figures here, um, made uh, some of the element sizes um, uh, more appropriately sized rather than 9.6, 9.525. Not going to make a great deal of difference at this frequency, but it's it's the correct numbers that's in there and also altered the segmentation, which in one of the previous videos we said how, about how important that is. Um, it's not so um, stressed in something like 50 megahertz it's more so when you get to 432 that it become a problem so that's where it's at um, we'll look at uh, the polar plot it's a very clean antenna this one uh, and also SWR we'll do a quick SWR sweep and um, you can see it's fairly flat over a very wide section of the 50 megahertz band so in order to get the stacking distances that uh, DL6WU recommends. Uh, we select the azimuth plot here on the plot type, then press plot, and the part that we're interested in is what's um, uh, depicted here by the pink lines with the 3 dB beam width, which in this case in the azimuth plane is 51.8 degrees. Uh, and if we change that to elevation, you can see it's 66.6 .6. so elevation is H plane and azimuth is E plane uh, as far as uh, these numbers are concerned so open up the wires window and what we need to do is to stack <clears throat> as a result of that calculation when you press the calculator button it gives you the E plane results in meters and feet and the H plane results in meters and feet so my uh, my display is in in meters. So in order to create another antenna just above this one, I'm going to press copy copy wires, and it's it's selecting one to eight. So all of those. So the vertical plane, uh, one above the other in this format, is going to be five point four four four, which is your H plane results. Uh, and then when we press view antenna, <coughs> you can see one stacked above the other in this way. So copy antennas once more and then the E plane is 
0.843 and there you go you've got uh, if you if you I'll take the SWR for a moment view the antennas you can see we've got the current distribution lines there which are shown in uh, pink so I'm going to uh, take those off for the moment take the axis off the segmentation dots and the wires so we can see all four antennas as it stacked and recommended you can see they're wider spaced width ways uh, that's because of the length of the the elements you know tip to tip there's a, a wider distance than what there is center to center here uh, so they're they're more even by the time you get to these edges so it's more of an oblong shape as you can see um, <clears throat> resulting plots this is the elevation plot and uh, with the the four antennas and this is the azimuth so this is now looking down now one of the things that you probably will notice is that these side lobes are quite large um, and probably um, larger than what most people would like now there's good reason for that the DL6WU calculation was really built around the time where before we had low noise antennas and before there was the consideration for reducing the size of this 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 bubble at the back of the antenna so on typically on uh, uh, lower noise Yagis it tends to produce an overstack so ideally um, if you want to, a cleaner pattern is to go back from that size of stack now on this one for instance bearing in mind that this is the elevation plane if we were to um, look at this being this um, in this position above houses and offices and buildings or office uh, factories and so on these lobes here or this lobe is looking directly down and you can see here it's not a great deal distance it's only 12 dB or so down off of the main forward lobe so you've got another lobe that's only 12 dB down on the main lobe that's looking into everything below the antenna so for me uh, the DL6WU formula is, a, is, a, is one that's used for comparison in many places like the um, VE7BQH list so comparing one antenna against the other in terms of p performance and noise level is great but in the real world where you're living in suburbia city environments even got a household below the antenna in the middle of nowhere it could be but everything in there electronics modems computers cameras led lighting is all going to be producing noise so anything you can do to get this stacked uh, um, lobes down uh, would make a great deal of difference so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come back um, in actual fact the easiest thing for me to do is to delete from 9 onwards uh, so now we're back to uh, a simple antenna uh, just a single one and I'm going to open up uh, the calculator um, and then just to give you an idea 6.843 will take off 10% <clears throat> so 615 so we'll copy this and put it at uh, 6.15 uh, and then we'll do the same with the the other plane which is 5.444 minus 10 percent 4.9 so copy uh, 4.9 and then we'll run some plots again and see how it looks now for me that's a, that's a lot better already I probably still want to come down a little bit from that but there isn't a great deal of difference in gain if you look at the overall gain you've got tenths of a DB that you've lost but you've, you've reduced the size of those side lobes by many DBs now look at this one for instance this is now elevation look at the difference in that uh, this is now almost 16 DB uh, 5.8 DB so you've taken you've reduced that by 4 db it's all you know 6 db and an s point that's a that's a massive difference so going down from that if we went down to 15 percent again you're going to lose a few tenths of a db more in in forward gain but maybe an s point of noise 6 db or so off of that side low so when we're looking at you can't work it if you can't hear it if you can give up a few of tenths of a db which you probably wouldn't notice in forward gain uh, but save an S point on noise from below the antenna that's probably going to be the best way to go isn't it 
So that's a real quick overview. That's just 10 minutes that we've taken on that. Any questions, YouTube at g0ksc.co.uk. Um, and I can put those into a future uh, video. Um, we can answer questions that people have had that, uh, that are common questions with regards to stacking, antenna design or whatever it is. Uh, and hopefully that will be for the benefit of everybody. Okay, thanks for watching and please subscribe.